So hi and welcome to today's video. Um, so today I'm doing something a little bit different for me. It's not a vehicle transformation and it's not a product review per se. Um, what it actually is, is sort of a, a, addressing a question that I've been asking myself for a while and that is, are citrus pre-washes actually necessary? Or if you've got a decent snow foam, is that enough? Um, is a citrus pre-wash just a necessary stage? Um, it's just something I've been wondering because I picked um, Ballet Pro Citrus up a while and I've never really sort of fully tested whether it made a massive difference comparison to using a snow foam. Um, so this isn't going to be a sort of full comparison of every snow foam or every citrus pre-wash out there. I just don't have them all um, and that video, God knows how long that would take, particularly if I'm filming it, it'd probably take about three years um, to actually get my words out and say what I wanted to say. Um, but what I've done for this video is chosen two of my favourites. Um, and two that are quite sort of highly regarded um, and I think most people agree that I've tried them generally say good things about them and um, so we've got Built Hamber Alter Foam and we've got Valet Pro Citrus and um, so the reason I chose those particularly the Built Hamber is because it's a snow foam known for good cleaning ability I didn't want to do a sort of citrus versus snow foam video and pick a snow foam that's pH neutral that's not doing a lot um, I wanted to pick something that I knew actually would, would work because um, that's ultimately what I'm, what I'm trying to test is that citrus pre-wash going to give you anything extra if you are using something quite decent already. And um, so I'm sort of what I've done with this test is sort of pits I've done two halves of the car and I've done one with Volley Pro Citrus and um, rinsed it and then I dried the car and um, just let it air dry and then the same with Built Hamber let it air dry and the reason is because it's a lot easier to see when it's dirty and I do that you can obviously you can use a swab and things like that but I just get worried about doing that because I know that there is still dirt there I don't want to be rubbing it in with a swab and um, so that's why I, why I did that and it's basically going to be sort of me showing you the process and sort of before and after comparisons to so we can actually see you know what are these two products doing are they making a big difference and then also what I wanted to do is address how whether you use um, a citrus free wash under a snow foam whether that makes a massive difference and um, so I know that's sort of a quite a something that's quite well practiced is people you know put the citrus free wash down and put the snow foam over the top and essentially trying to give it a better dwell time and um, so I wanted to see I've never tried that before and I wanted to see whether that actually was sort of you know made a massive difference and um, so for reference before I jump into the actual test and um, I use built hamber at about 3% PIR and um, so it's about 120 ml of foam to 280 ml of water and um, getting quite specific but that's roughly what it was and then Valet Pro was a one to six ratio. So six parts water and one part of Valet Pro. Um, so I'm gonna to jump to the clips and show you what actually happened during this test. So here you can actually see what we are dealing with. Car was reasonably dirty this day, um, nothing absolutely horrendous. This was about a week's worth of dirt that sort of built up um, and it was ready for me to be kind of tackled at this point. So I'm just comparing really the left and the right hand side and um, they're both quite equal to be honest. So that's why I just sort of thought it'd be quite an even test to do the citrus pre-wash on one side and the snow foam on the other. I always rinse down before applying either a pre-wash or a snow foam. There's a bit of a debate as to whether this is the best option. I prefer just to remove any kind of stuck on dirt prior to actually, um, actually kind of pre-washing the car and think as well you know it stops the product drying out which is a potential issue so I can give it a longer dwell time even if it is diluted a tiny bit. So here you can see me applying the Valet Pro Citrus and put a pretty generous layer all over the side panel um, and you can see really it does quite a good job sitting on the car it dwells quite well and it doesn't really sort of slip off. And now here you can see me applying the snow foam, a reasonably thin foam, but it's, this is built hand at 3% PIR and it's coating the surface quite nicely, it's still reasonably thick to be honest. Now I gave both products an equal dwell time, so this was 8 minutes before I kind of did each side. So I rinsed it off thoroughly and quite slowly to aid as much removal of this traffic foam as I possibly could and to give both products the kind of best chance possible at removing this. And then once I've done this, I've kind of dried each side individually and just made sure I could get them as dry as possible. Now you can see here the water behaviour hadn't come back that much to be honest at this stage, which was a signal that there was still a reasonable amount of traffic film still left on there. 
Now, when I actually rinse down the built Hamber Auto Film, you can see a little bit more that there is some more water repellency coming back here. You can see particularly the front and um, the water sheeting after it's been rinsed was slightly faster. Now, this is a signal to me that it was doing a better job at removing some of that traffic film and sort of getting the water of behaviour of, of the sealant that I had underneath back um, is a, sort of a good sign. So I'd say based on this, the built Hamber also film was doing a better job than the citrus screen wash at these concentrations. As I said, I did dry this to make sure, you know, I could see really how much dirt there actually was left. And you can see here that the Ballot Pro Citrus had more traffic film on there. It's difficult to tell and, and lighting, you know, was different on each side. It was a little bit hard to tell. And you can generally see that there was a little bit more the clarity. And then you can see the sort of stones reflecting wasn't as good. Um, but also you can see that the water is actually sticking on more with the Ballot Pro even when I tried to dry it and I've left it at about half an hour at this point. It just wasn't really dry and it was a signal that you know the traffic film was still on there. It was a cold day so it wasn't going to evaporate at this point. So the next part of the test really was to see on this Ballot Pro side whether if I put any built Hamber Auto Film on, left that as well for again 8 minutes and then rinsed it off, whether this would actually aid any removal whether this would be potentially actually help the ballot pro and, and give it sort of, you know, remove more traffic film or whether it would remove the same amount as when it just was built hand by its own. So it's essentially seen at this point whether there was any real benefit to adding that ballot pro. The ballot pro did do some job at removing the traffic film. It wasn't, you know, completely useless, but you can see here that the water behavior is coming back more than when it was just the ballot pro on this side. Again, it is a double hit, so, that is going to help however you know i think that you can see that the built hamber else film is really sort of the more effective product in getting that water repellency back at this stage and you can see the photos here so we've got built hamber auto film on the left and then we've got both in the middle and ballet pro citrus on the right you can see that the built hamber auto film and the both together have very very similar levels of dirt removal of traffic film removal and the water repellency is very similar i'd say on the Ballet Pro side, you can see that there wasn't quite as much removal. It is, it is not a huge amount of difference, but when you're talking about removing this as part of the pre-wash stage, every little helps really, I think, you know, in terms of making the contact wash safer. So I'd say built Hamber Auto Film on its own probably did enough and having both didn't make a dramatic amount of difference on top of that. So the final test here was just to see whether layering the products would work. And I know it's a popular technique to layer your citrus free wash, put that on first and then put the snow film on top to give them a better dwell time. Um, so I don't really find that the Ballet Pro Citrus slips off the car, but I still wanted to see whether this was the case. So you can see that I applied the Ballet Pro Citrus quite liberally to the right hand side and then applied the snow film on top. I applied the Ballet Pro probably about a minute or two before the auto film and then left it to dwell again for eight minutes just to keep things consistent. You can see as I'm rinsing it off, it was pretty similar water behaviour um, when, when I was rinsing these off. Now I didn't take any photos of this because there wasn't really any detectable difference and the bonnet itself wasn't overly dirty and um, it was definitely worth free washing and um, I always find it is really but there wasn't a you know, massive, massive amount of difference at this stage. So you can see I'm trying to get here a sort of more of an indication as to whether one side is sheep and water more than the other. I'd say pretty even to be honest, um, possibly the left hand side which is built Hamber might even be doing slightly better here. Just showing that, you know, later it might not always be the best option. So here you can see me trying to sheet the water with low pressure just to see whether there was actually any difference. It's very, very difficult to tell. Um, the sort of explanation I could say potentially why the right hand side is sheeting slower is because that's all that was touching the paintwork so the built hamber didn't potentially have as much of an impact but as you can see here it's sort of strange the built hamber sides sheeting from the top down and the ballet pro sheeting upwards there is very very little difference between the two at this point it's really hard to tell which was was the best option. So we can see by the test that really in answer to this question, is there much point in using a citrus free wash when you're using built hamber at 3% PIR? No, not really. Didn't really make a difference. Um, as well when it came to layering, didn't really make much of a difference either. Um, so I'm still I've still preferred to treat them kind of separately. 
and do a citrus free wash rinse snow foam rinse because i just i think that the the idea of layering never made a huge amount of sense to me because you're only really getting what's sort of on the bottom layer and um, if the ballot pros touching it and you've coated the entire surface if you're putting built hamber on top in my head it wouldn't really make sense it wouldn't it wouldn't be touching it so i don't know if it would make a massive difference and um, there's going to be people that disagree with me you know everyone's got different ways of doing things this is completely fine this is just me doing a little test and showing you what actually happened and um, because i just wanted to know myself and i thought people might be interested and um, so you know why do i still use a citrus pre wash after that test probably should go and chuck that down the sink well no not really um you know why do i still use it well just because on the test you couldn't really see visibly that it done any more than when you just use built hand on its own does it soften the dirt potentially i have no idea how i would test that but there is that debate and um, just because a snow foam hasn't removed the dirt entirely doesn't mean that it's not done something to help it be removed during the contact wash and um, so sometimes it can be quite harsh on a snow foam and say you know still loads of dirt there well yeah obviously we want as much you know gone as possible and this kind of sets quite a good standard for that i've tried snow foams when you rinse them off and it has done nothing and um, this isn't like that but you know they potentially have softened the dirt and that is still beneficial whether it's gone or not like i said don't know this might be doing that i have no idea and um, i think one of the best things to do is that there's other uses for for these citrus free washes as well and um, so i use them when i use it on the contact wash now and um, sort of following detailing and beast kind of advice to use and um, the brushes to get all the kind of trim and stuff like that and um, after the contact wash sorry not after you know what i mean after the snow foam and um, but not during the snow foam because you're kind of rubbing dirt in there and um, so what i do now is during the contact wash because obviously there isn't that thick layer of snow foam to kind of go and you know work in i just spray a little bit onto a brush and dip it in the shampoo as well but spray a bit onto a brush and work it in and it foams up really nicely and it does do a good job at getting things like the badges getting the trim and stuff like that citrus free washes work really well on other areas of the car people use them on engine bays i've seen if they're not overly dirty and um, people use them on tires i definitely do that i think that's a really really good way of using them and um, wheel arches you know exhaust tips there's various other things you can use these for so i'm not chucking this down the sink and if i'm totally honest i'm going to still carry on using it i'm going to still carry on basically doing my citrus free wash and then going around doing the tires and stuff like that rinsing that off and then doing the snow foam because it's any excuse to really spend longer on it um, and then i already do i also think that the cost of it isn't particularly astronomical either and um, built hamper at that kind of ratio is about 40 p per wash that i worked out at using 120 mil um, and then the Valet Pro, if I used 100ml of that around the entire car, I probably don't even use that. But at that ratio, that is about 12p. I'm really splitting hairs there. As, you know, it's costing so little that I just feel like I might as well do it. Like I said, I do it personally because I'm quite happy to spend longer outside on the car. If there is that potential for it to soften the dirt, great. I just enjoy doing it. Um, but what I wanted to do with making this video is to show that if you don't have a citrus free wash and you've got snow foam that's doing a good job don't feel like you're missing out don't feel like you have to do it and um, if you're skipping the citrus free wash stage and just going straight to the snow foam you've got a decent snow foam and you're in winter and your hands are freezing don't feel like you know it's the be all and end all because it might not actually be and um, of course it's going to depend on what products you're using and like i said at the start this wasn't a citrus pre wash versus snow snow foam sort of smack down every other product that i've tried you know it's not like that it's just two products that i was comparing and two products that i use quite often so what did you kind of think of this you know do you actually rate your citrus pre-wash more do you put a ph neutral snow foam to get what the citrus pre-wash had softened what is your technique of doing it um, some people actually just use pre-wash and some people just use snow foam some people use both some layer it um, really just want to kind of see what everyone else does and um, like i said i've done this test i'm not telling people how to do it I'm not telling people to bin all the citrus free washes i'm not doing um, and really everyone kind of has a different way of doing things and that's fine you know that's what it's about it's about trying what works for you and um, so you know not telling anyone how to do it and um, to make that very clear so don't please don't have an argument in the comments about it and um, but yeah i do want to hear actually what everyone else tries and um, very interested to see what other people's kind of techniques are as well 
Um, but if you have got any comments, anything that I've missed out potentially about the testing, let me know. Um, any comments about the process either as well or the products, let me know that too. So thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, it'd be brilliant if you'll give it a like. Again, comment down below if you've got any questions and subscribe for our weekly detailing videos, making stuff like this all the time, um, different product reviews and things like that. Um, but thank you very much again and I'll see you next time.